Hey guys, it's Duck Kid Dad. So, the last discussion, someone brought up Scrap Recycler and the OCG. And I looked at that when I first started, when I first picked it up, because I didn't have uh, any dangers yet. Yeah, I have dangers, I just don't use them. <laughs> but, the some, one of the reasons I thought that maybe they did that was because they have uh, Christian needle fiber. Because, I mean, you know, the simple play is... So I'm a scrap recycler, pitch jet, send jet, pitch a card, Christian needle fiber, do shenanigans. But here in the TCG, let's say instead of this being inconsequential cards, let's say you send jet and you pitch nightmare. And now you can start your plays and these three cards here can be hand traps. You know, this way allows you to run more hand traps. Three Ash, three Valor, three Phantasme, um, as they do in the OCG, because you're less reliant on drawing as many extenders, you know, as possible, because you have so many one card starters. And I think that's pretty good. Uh, maybe moving forward, you know, our meta will develop into something like this. Someone. Someone might uh, have the courage to enter an event with that philosophy. Um, I saw um, Aaron McGinnis in Altoona, Iowa, I believe it was. Uh, I think he used a similar philosophy with scrap recyclers and also a mathematician <clears throat> having the one card starters. Uh, so you're not running so many uh, different extenders, having to rely on draw so many different extenders giving you space for hand traps. He ran dangers, which are really good. I mean, for dangers, they're really good going second because it allows you to extend past all your opponent's interruptions. But, you know, without the dangers, you have space for hand traps, uh, which makes, which means that you, you'll need to go first. But, you know, if you go second, you can always switch up your side and put in extenders or put up, put in ways to bust your opponent's board, whether it be evenly matched or uh, forbidden chalice or uh, impermanence, etc. Now, looking at this, I thought, well, what if we took this idea a little further? Let's say our hand looked like this, where instead of Let's say we ran three math, three gigantus. This is our op opening hand. What could we do with that? Well, mathematician provides some of the utility that scrap recycler, whereas scrap recycler sends any machine, he sends any level four lower. So he can still send just synchron if necessary. He can send harp. You know, again, this starts your engine up, you know, after turn one, turn two. Uh, you lose access to your Orcus, so you need a way to throw them back in the graveyard to help you grind. But let's say instead of doing any of those, we throw Dotscaper. So now we have a one card uh, nightmare combo, because when Dotscaper hits the grave, it'll be special summon or overlay into. Cerberus, which by the way is an earth monster. Next, for the mermaid. Pitch our horror for nightmare. And then the cool interaction I found Gigantus Banish Dotscaper. Dotscaper comes back. And now we have Boral Sword. Or we can just set up, you know, if we went first, we can do our regular shenanigans with uh, Galatea, Galatea and Company. Uh, but this time, <clears throat> we can make Long Gear Sue and Galatea.
so what you would do is you know you would do standard plays you know banish send the wand you know or banish bring out the skeleton go into your your Bardish plays do the shenanigans uh, banish your skeleton at the end of those uh, uh, plays then you can banish the wand bring back a card overlay Derengisu and then you have three materials for long gear Sue. So now when your opponent drops something here, you send it to the graveyard and it leaves you with two cards in hand, you know, plus your standard, you know, fog blades plus field spell or fog blades plus uh, crescendo. I don't know, it was just a thought. But one last thing I want you guys to consider in all this is that these, these, and even if you got cheeky and decided to run a glow bulb, so this is your hand with one of these cards. These are all still one card starters. Summon Escaper. Link it away for Link Karibo or any one of these guys. You'll have to pitch for Jet Synchron, but you know, it's still basically essentially you get two names regardless. Jet Scaper comes back, that's two names. Mill for Bulb comes back, that's two names. Pitch for Jet Synchron, that's two names. You'll have to pitch one more card, so this leaves you with the least amount of cards. But if these two cards are cards of consequence you know let's say you open like this with Jet Synchron that's pretty damn busted because now Nightmare when Nightmare hits the grave it can uh, send Wand helping you extend Horror already gets you your skeleton and I don't know it just it just seems like these are other things to consider you know if you don't want to fork out the money you know for danger cards there's other danger cards danger cards <laughs> you know if you don't want to fork out the money for all this you know with a little bit of innovation I think there's you know all kinds of things you can do makes your deck just equally as viable ash and blossoms are common Fake Veilers are common. You don't have to run Phantasme. Uh, you know, you could just you could run additional extenders still. But I really want to test uh, Gigantis, Mathematician, Dotscaper. I really want to test that. I think I might just do that at locals uh, this coming weekend. And if I do, I'll report back and let you guys know how it goes. So, WK Dad and I'm out.